In today's world, 3.5 quintillion bytes of data are created every day. And as people become increasingly aware of data and how its understanding is crucial for companies' improvement, data analysts are more and more demanded and required for some specialized issues. Today, we'll dive into some career paths you could work in as a data analyst. But before heading into it, let's answer, what does a data analyst do? In short, a data analyst is responsible for understanding and receiving a concern the company has in any way, establishing how data analysis can contribute to solving it, collecting all the data needed to find solutions, cleaning it and normalizing it to make it easier to process, organize and visualize it to finally take essential insights to share with the stakeholders and the people that will choose the course of action based on their discoveries. As you can imagine, this process could be applied everywhere that holds data and is looking for constant improvement. So let's talk about four specializations or industries and the responsibilities of a data analyst in each, plus some real life examples of what each job offer could look like. Marketing Data Analyst when it comes to marketing, the role of the data analyst is to help the marketing team make informed decisions to cultivate the company's relationship with their current and future clients based on what the data is showing and the metrics the company has determined as the most valuable to them. Their role tends to be similar to that of a consultant, reviewing projects, plans, and even copies and graphic pieces prepared for a determined product or channel. Usually, if the company is big enough, a data analyst tends to be assigned to a single product or channel, allowing them to understand it perfectly and make the most out of it, improving it with data. For example, if you focus on only one channel's attribution acquisition, you can focus on how to deal with the constant changes in data privacy regulations for it and how it impacts the collection of this data and can also invest your time in staying one step ahead for future trends and customer behavior that can benefit your company. Let's review this job offer for Naked, an e-commerce fashion business looking for a marketing data analyst. As you can see, the data analyst will be required to understand customer journeys, contribute to data-driven decision-making, optimize revenue streams related to marketing, and collaborate with other marketing stakeholders to define data requirements. Very similar to what we said before. Healthcare data analyst. As you will expect, a data analyst in the healthcare industry puts their knowledge and skills into helping improve healthcare services. How this looks depends widely on what healthcare environment they work for. If you end up with healthcare providers, you will primarily manage customer data to improve patient outcomes. The analysts working for suppliers such as pharmaceutics focus on supply and demand and understand the current necessities of the supplier's clients to propose developments of the options they currently have available. You can also find the EHR companies and device makers in this section. Then comes health insurance companies, where analysts look to understand the health concerns of the public and control expenses and reduce treatment costs. Finally, you could end up in a government organization. You will be working on understanding the healthcare system in the territory your organization is in charge of to optimize processes and the people's experience. Before we continue, you may have noticed already that despite working on different fields, the base of the work of a data analyst is the same. If you're interested in becoming a data analyst, Turing College offers great programs to give you the best foundations and dynamics to get your job ready at your own pace. You can check them yourself in the link in the description. Now, let's keep going with the other specializations. In this job offer for Baxter, a very important medical equipment manufacturing company, you can see that they're looking for someone that will help them understand the data needs of supply chain planning to then translate them into technical instruments, and that they explicitly say they need someone that understands supply chain oriented measures and systems and can integrate data analysis with the supply chain in general. Finance Data Analyst 
In finance, a data analyst often finds and studies financial trends, finding patterns that could help with decision making. They also could be expected to collect information about the current prices of stocks, mutual funds, and other financial instruments for investment, to then do some forecasting for planning the course of the company's financial decisions, and then comparing the forecasting results with actual results in the company's performance. Their findings could determine the following years with supporting schedules like debt, or depreciation schedules and more. Once financial models have been created, a finance data analyst would study gross and net profit margins and other metrics to perfect models and decisions that have been proposed based on the data findings they have collected and shared with their company. A financial analyst can work in any industry they're interested in, but they will be focusing on the financial side of it just like in the case of Merle Spoon's job offer. This medkit delivery business is looking for a junior financial analyst. Its candidates are expected to be able to gather and analyze transactional data for business decisions and contribute to finance projects such as investor presentations, among many other things. Product Data Analyst a product data analyst seeks to optimize a customer's engagement and overall experience with the product they're working with. They can answer questions such as, how are people interacting with X product? Or shall we make changes on X specific features of said product? Among many other things. A product analyst is often confused with a marketing analyst, but there is a key difference to help you understand why they're not the same. As the name reveals, a product analyst focuses on the product and how people interact with it. In contrast, a marketing analyst focuses on the channel or how the product and its novelties are informed to the public. Therefore, a product analyst's insights will help you improve the features of a product, while a marketing analyst will focus on the return on investment. Let's look at this job offer for a product data analyst at HOMA, a gaming technology lab. It states that in this job position, you would be recommending improvements and new features for the games you'll have to work with and partner with many other departments to launch great games. The list of specializations for a data analyst are endless, but I hope this video has helped bring awareness to the plethora of possibilities on how a data analyst could help in various approaches and industries widening your view on what you could work on as a data analyst and also has encouraged you to keep investigating and learning to see if any of them are connected with your career goals. If you like this video, let us know by leaving a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in data-related careers and the wondrous world of data and tech in general. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.